Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. I realize I do say good morning, even though I upload it in the afternoon. Uh, yeah, should be a fun day. Flea market day. Finally getting back out there. It's not raining today. Uh, really packed the van this week. Uh, what also happened is I did three storage locker cleanouts within the past 72 hours. Those videos are going to be posted separately, independently. The other two lockers will be posted in the future. Uh, and you'll probably see a lot of stuff from those lockers in this video or some stuff from those lockers in this video and that's because I had to get everything out by tomorrow and rather than just keep hoarding stuff I decided hey let me throw it in here and just take it to the flea market this weekend and uh, yeah so you're going to probably see some stuff in future videos and you're going to look back like hey you already picked that up and that's because I already did a clean out so don't, don't freak out, don't stress uh, that's kind of the way uh, kind of way the videos are going to go because right now I can't even think about another storage locker. I am just an absolute noodle and speaking of noodles I'm going to get a cookie at Turkey Hill and probably get some gas and we should have a fun day at the flea market. So join me. Let's sell some junk. Alrighty. Welcome back. Turkey Hill it is. Flea market day. It is loud already out here. Okay, all right, not starting off to a great morning. Oh, all right, come on, guy. All right, not starting off to a good morning. Guy in front of me got $15 of lottery tickets, and rather than moving to the side, he just stands there right at the counter and starts scratching them off. So I was like, um, and then the cashier just looked at me, and I was like, well, what do you want me to do? Oh, jeez. Situational awareness, it's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's get into it. All right, now it's probably seeming like I have an uh, obsession with Pyrex, but now that I've just learned so much about it, it's kind of hard to give away uh, good deals. So I paid three bucks for the smaller bowl. This is a pink stripe bowl. This I think I'll get some money for, and then the blue stripe bowl. Uh, the stripe set, it's kind of like the dot set. It's kind of hard to find. So I threw that over there. And I picked up a reverse weave Penn State sweatshirt for a dollar. I, I looked at it, I checked the tag, because it looked like a champion sweatshirt. It had the logo on it, but it didn't look like a reverse weave Penn State Nittany Lines. Good old reverse weave. So this is like anywhere between like 15 and 25. If you get a good school, you'll get 35 or 40, but Penn State just so overproduced. But for a dollar, I'll grab it all day long. That's not wrong. Buck a piece. Yeah. I can always add one to the pile. Yeah, you can. Before you look. Yeah, thank you. Maybe I did, maybe I did. <laughs> All of it? Five bucks for the whole box. Yeah, you're up to ten. You wanna do it? Don't get a change. I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so sold a bunch. Uh, as you guys can see, there's a couple pieces here that are gonna be from future video uh, storage video. I got all those chairs out of a storage locker. Uh, this stuff is all sold. This is from someone else. This is the people that buy it and send it to Africa into cargo containers and then sell it over there at flea markets. This stuff they bought somewhere else, but they bought all that rope, buying the coolers, sewing box, Christmas thing, and a tool. 
I pack just the right amount of stuff. I do have to get this stuff out. I am moving so slow. It's brutal. You're going to also see a lot of that from future storage videos. Uh, I'll probably donate a bunch of it. And all sorts of goodies. So a little sneak peek. So these are all the goodies. Got some quilt pieces here. I think these are like just for uh, a pillow. They're not. They're not quilts. This might be a bedspread or a tablecloth. Kind of in that lace pattern. A rug, bread box. Seems to be like these things don't sell too well. This piece. stuff over here I'm going to just donate. I still got to grab this other other bag of clothes and miscellaneous. Still have these gloves. It's kind of weird. The funny thing about gloves were beginning of the year I sold them as soon as I put them out. Now I can't sell them. You just never know. You never know. Did sell a bunch of Tupperware. These are umpire brushes. These are the indicators. And that's how you guys know how many strikes, outs, balls you have, inning. If you're an umpire, they're really not expensive. I think they're like 97 cents at wherever you get them. I would say sports story, but they're closed. Same with the brushes. I think you get like a three pack, like a brush, that, and something else for like $4. It's actually a nice piece. Put this on the table. Sold a lot of CDs. Somebody picked out 16. So. And I just sold a book. These are all the ones that came out of that. Uh, when I picked up all those goosebumps you guys might remember there's four boxes in the trash that's what these are from somebody literally just parked right next to my table. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Do a little walk around. I gotta find that soap person. I just wanna buy some soap again. Uh, I guess we'll walk this way. All right, so that's going to kind of wrap it up here for uh, the flea market video. It's been a lot of fun. About to go out trash picking, so I have to unload all the stuff that didn't sell. Uh, about three or four boxes of stuff that I'm just throwing out just because it's just junk. Uh, but overall, fun day. Did a little bit of sourcing in the morning like you guys might have seen. Uh, grabbed a Pyrex bowl. This is, I think, a pink stripe. I don't know if this goes with the pink stripe set or if it's part of the random stripe set. I know there's one that I think has sandalwood uh, plus this and then the pink one, I think. Uh, so I went back after to see if the guy had any more because usually sometimes uh, the clean-out kind of people, 
sell everything in bulk at the end, but somebody came in and bought all the Pyrex from him. Uh, I know a couple people who do sell at antique malls and they say this stuff sells very, very well. So for these pieces, I probably will put them on eBay. Uh, I'm not going to keep them. I'm not going to uh, try to sell them at a flea market or a yard sale or anything like that. They're probably going to go on eBay. It's a more of a desirable set. It's been, uh, but aside from that, it's been a fun day. Uh, did sell a lot and sold a lot of stuff that I was surprised to sell. Got about two or three more weeks of flea market and then that's it. So if it rains any of these couple weeks coming up, it, it's going to be rough. But it's been fun. Uh, I'm going to go out garbage picking. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.